Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Barry GDO. I'm back with Luke Rockhold, Rampage Jackson, and we got Scoob in the house, Kurt Scooby. Yes, sir. Scooby yes, or sir. Scooby? Scooby. Scooby? Yes, sir. Sco How do you say it, Rampage? You were saying it earlier. Yeah, I said it right because uh, I grew up watching Scooby Doo. Nah, that's a different Scooby Doo. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. He said we had Scooby Doo on. Nah, you didn't have Scooby Doo on. You nah. had Scooby here. Scooby. No, no, no. Scooby. Why are you lying to me? You told me we were having a voice for Scooby Doo. I said Scooby, and you said, oh, hey, I they love be Scooby lying, Doo. bro. Man, they be lying. They be lying. So it's you, cool. They, they, they nose is grown like Pinocchio. It's cool. So you, you don't do the voice for Scooby Doo, the cartoon. You hear me? You hear my voice right now? Yeah, you don't sound like Scooby. Uh, I sound like who? Kurt Scooby. Oh. Yeah. That's what's up. Why you, why you lying to me, man? Just your back, I do it. Give us your best Scooby. Give <laughs> yeah, us your give best us your Scooby. Best Come Scooby. on, Rampage. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they, they team up on me all day. Hey, that's how it got to be. Yeah, Listen, nah, gotta, Rampage gotta Jackson is getting ready for a huge fight against Shannon Briggs. Luke Rockhold, an amazing world champion, UFC strike force, and also did some bare knuckle. These guys have been in the gym every day boxing. We just put in the ring, so we're excited to be able to partner up with Overtime Boxing and kind of highlight some of the fastest growing sports media network. I mean, between all of their accounts, I think they have over 100 million followers. And now at the same time, we also get to highlight some of the best athletes in the game like you and really give a, a good light and showcase your story. So I'm very honored, very happy to have you here. 13 and 0, 11 knockouts, 140 super lightweight, Kurt Scooby in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a round of applause That's one serious. time. Come on. Come on. Scooby. Come on. What, what, was your fa what was your favorite knockout? You got, you got, how many you got? 11 knockouts? Yeah, 11. Which one was your favorite? And the one you, you just, just the didn't like? The one on like. Showtime. Because oh. that was, uh, it was, it was a funny story that they called me for, it was like a last minute but I've been training all year round, so there's no such thing as a last minute call. You know what I mean? So I remember when uh, we got there, <laughs> the coach, the trainer of the other guy was like, oh, yeah, thank you guys for taking the fight. For me, I took it as disrespect because th what? Thank me for taking the fight? No, no, no. Thank you for taking the fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I manifested that whole situation. So when I even got there, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm This is my show. You know what I mean? So um it was one of the last shows that that Showtime had when it was gone, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But, I, yeah, that was my my favorite one because I was able to show everyone why I'm here. You think it was a setup or or somebody just pulled out? Nah, it was nobody wanted to fight the guy. Um, nobody wanted to fight the guy, but I I wanted it. I wanted it all. I want all smoke, you know what I mean? So um, when the call came, I said, send me the contract right now. Don't don't ask nobody else. Give me the contract. I want it, you know. Yeah, because I mean? most of my my last minute fights were like setups. They trying to set me up to lose because mm -hmm. the other guy has been training. Well, he knew he had a fight, mm -hmm. and this this guy they just nobody wanted to fight him. It was just a last minute for everybody. Yeah, yeah, he was from uh, Australia, so mm -hmm. I, I told him, man, you you from down under? Well, you got to come up. You know what I mean? You have to come up and, and see me. That's so a, that's what's up. And that's what happened, and he he eventually see me. And this, I think it was four knockdowns in two rounds. So I had to let people know who I was because I'm not. Um, nowadays, a lot of boxers are very vocal and, and talking in Twitter. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to sit back, relax, and I'm going to sneak up on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to take your queen when you're not really looking. You know what I mean? Because I, I think it's I think it's very cliche that a lot of people are just talking and I'm retiring this. No, nah, if you're retiring, you don't really love the sport. Mm. You're making the sport just awful because everyone's retiring this, retiring that. Why? Yeah. You want attention? Nah, knock people out for attention. That's what you got to do. Facts. I like that. Luke always talks about that, kind of letting your skills do the talking. You're not a big talking guy. I like, I like to talk a little bit. You know, I like my skills to do most of the talking, you know. I, I also like to uh, just train properly, put everything in. Mm. And I, I like to ice bath. I saw you like to ice bath. I see you get cold-ass bath. Like, that shit, I don't, even, I don't even know if I'll he, touch that. He's the first guy to teach me about ice baths. I swear on everything. We're at, mm. we're at a Ruka right down the street, mm -hmm. and Luke was in there, and Luke was like, bro, when you're done training, go hop in that thing. I put just my toes in that thing. I, I can't do all this. Yeah. Rampage, you get an ice bath? No, no, I can't do ice bath. I, I fit in an ice bath? I love it. What you trying to say? No, I meant like... <laughs> what are you trying to say? Do I fit in an ice bath? <laughs> Scoop, do I, do I look that big? <laughs> You ugly. <laughs> I, think I, know, now, I think it's three I, people teaming up on you I know, now. always. I, listen, you you yeah, call yeah. them the voice of Scooby-Doo. That's what you told me. No, I did not. <laughs> he set me up, too. Listen, I know I'm ugly. <laughs> you, know, you don't got to tell me something I already know. <laughs> I know I'm ugly. But I don't think I'm too big to, to fit, in, fit in, in an ice bath. I didn't mean physically. I meant, like, can you sit in an ice bath and do it? Like, no, not, no. Not. I, I can't stand the cold, cold water. I can't do it. I've done it. I've done it once or twice, and I regretted it. Never to be do it honest, yet. that's the reason why I do it because nobody else wants to do it. And when people see me do it, I'm like, "Oh, he's crazy." Yeah, I'm crazy. So get in the ring with me. 
see how even more crazy I am. You know what I mean? So it's for me, the ice baths are, it's a very mental thing. You know what I mean? So once you could dial in and get in there and stay there for 12 minutes, you're like, okay. 12 minutes? I do 12 minutes of that. Fuck. So I sit there and I relax and I, I feel like I'm, I'm on a tropical. You know what I mean? I'm sitting on the beach or something. You know what I mean? That's where your mind goes, huh? You it get, goes. He's yeah. got a real strong mind. It goes. I can tell. Gotta have it. So, so talk to me about this because me and Luke were talking about the belts and Rampage is getting ready to fight Shannon Briggs. So you have the WBC OTX belt right now, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a belt that OTX put together, which is overtime boxing right. with the WBC. Right. So how does that work? Is it its own league, its own organization? I'm not exactly sure of that. Um, I just came to fight mm -hmm. and whatever's on the line is on the line. And uh, I got kids to feed. So if there's a belt, if there's not a belt, my record's on the line. And if I don't win, my, my kids don't eat. You know what I mean? So, I honestly, a lot of people say they care about the belts. I honestly, I just need to make sure my kids are fed. And if my kids are fed, then the belts will come. I like that. That's the Rampage said. I always fought. What you say? You fought for yeah, you? Yeah, it's my job. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's my job. It, they, uh, they keep asking me to um, talk to the UFC about getting in the Hall of Fame. I don't care about the Hall of Fame. I didn't fight to be famous. You don't. That's what exactly, like... It's a lot of YouTube. I'm not. I'm not throwing the shame, any shame on YouTube because it's great. You know, what I mean, it's great. It's, it's showing a, like a, a good platform from for boxing, but it's it's a lot of shit is just going wrong. You know, what I mean, where the belts, everything. No, we just fight. Just let me fight. I just want to fight. There's a little more to it. I mean, like like you said. I mean, like they're they're one of the fastest growing media agencies right. in the game too. So there's, there's, there's a side of it that it has, has to be promotion. You have to understand mm -hmm. how to promote yourself. Oh yeah, for sure. Whether, I mean, people, people love his, his ice bath these days. Mm -hmm. So if you can get in there and where are you at? You in like, I see snow on the edge. Pennsylvania. Like, Pennsylvania. The, yeah. Uh, it looks like Antarctica or something. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. so you're used to that shit. At ice bath. I'm from California. I uh, moved to Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I moved. Thought, yeah. Uh, where, where, where in California? Duarte, California. Where? Duarte, California. Where's it's that? right next to, uh, you know, San Anita Racetrack? San Diego Racetrack. San Anita Racetrack. San Anita. I'm not from California. I don't know. I don't it's know not too far either. from here. It's, uh, near, it's SoCal? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, SoCal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I used to live out here, and I moved to um to Pennsylvania. Why, why you move out there? <sighs> to change my whole life. Cold. You know what I mean? Um, I had a few friends die, you know what I mean? And it changed my whole life because I, I, I knew if I stayed here, I was going to stay stagnant and understand that. My whole life was just, everyone knew me from football. Everyone knew that I was athletic and, and I was good at football. So they were just giving me things. No, no, don't give me things. Let me work for it. Let me go get it. And I had to move across the country with $11 in my, my bank account to understand like, okay, I'm, just, I'm starting my whole life over. Um, let's go. That's what I got to do. You know How long I mean? ago was that? Uh, it was four years ago. Mm. Yeah, four years ago. And I met my fiance there. So it was, it was, it was a great great thing to do because I needed to get out of the city, man, because I, I don't think I would have ever been alive. You know what I mean? I know everyone says that, but I truly do mean that. You know what I mean? Because I had a quick story. I had a friend named Ray McGee. Um, I, I had a, I went to New York for just a fight, an amateur fight. I came back to the hood and I was telling him like, yo, there's a way out. Like there's way more than just being on this block. You know what I mean? And he was the only one well, talking to three of my friends. He was the only one making eye contact with me. Like, I got you. I hear you. I hear you. So I, I knew the message got across. I left him. I came and then uh, I came back. They called me like, yo, uh, Ray just got killed. And I'm like, what? Like, what, what are you talking about? I just talked to him. And he was, you know what I mean? And um, that's when I knew I had to get out because my message is being heard, but it needs to be heard to a brighter view of people that actually will listen to me. Yeah, bro, yeah, I, I, mean. I feel you. My, my hood, uh, most of my friends didn't even make it to 21. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, luckily for me, my, my mom got remarried. We moved to a, uh, another side. I'm from Memphis. We moved to another side of Memphis. Right. And that changed my life. I got into wrestling and stuff, and I just said, you know what? I'm, this is this is me now. This is mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. We get to beat people up and, and not get in trouble for it. And that's <laughs> like, man, that's just the, that's the beauty of the sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't got no police waiting for you. You ain't got nobody looking over your shoulder. You just beat them up and get a paycheck for yeah, it. But there's honor to it too, you know? Within yeah. the same, like doing something, you get to train mm -hmm. and be honorable and earn a, a legitimate paycheck. Right. Have, right. Some, have some fun with it too and put mm -hmm. yourself on mm -hmm. to the test. There's so much more to it. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely is. Definitely is. That's why I work every day the way I work. You yeah. know what I mean? I work like 
I have nothing because I don't have nothing. Even if I have something, I'm throwing it in my business account and I'm and I'm putting it in my regular account. Like I have two dollars in there. Mm-hmm. I'm always reminding myself, you you not nothing yet. You gotta work like you broke no to tech. get what you really want. You know. I love the mindset. That's definitely a good way to keep your mind sharp. Because a lot of people get too comfortable when they see some money stack up that they're not used to, or they start saying this. Don't Facts. get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. Facts. Even when the wins, if you keep winning, 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 they're like, oh, I can sit back and no. There's always somebody coming. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, that's why I look up to Floyd. Exactly. That's why I look up exactly. to him, man, because he was on top of the world, undefeated, rich as hell, but he's still hungry. You can mm-hmm. see it in him. He's mm-hmm. still trained hard. You see other fighters, like or we talking about Conor McGregor. Like he's up there with uh, with Floyd type of money and stuff like that, and he, you can't find him. And he he ain't getting in that cage no more. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I mean, as we look at your career and what you've done so far, one thing that I want to try to figure out is how are you so jacked but you're a vegan? I work like I'm like I'm broke. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, wait, I'm wait. vegan. Yeah, I don't like you. How does that? How does what that association? I, don't like, I, don't I, don't like, like, I hate that association. Like this is now, a rampage. He called thing. me. Yeah, he called me ugly. And now, oh, now you're vegan. Now you're vegan. <laughs> yeah. My son, my son is 23 years old and he's he's a fighter. Strong as a bull, right? He a vegan. Strong as a bull. Yeah, but he a vegan. Strong as a bull. He stay injured. Nah. His last I, don't, I, I think that's cap. Nah, I'm telling the truth. That's cap. I, 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 I call him right now. He's injured right take now. Take off your cap. That's cap. Nah, I'm serious. He's <laughs> injured. That's cap. Oh, actually, don't take it off. You got a Jackson cap. Leave it on. But he, you know what I mean? He stays injured. Right now, both, both his knees is. I'm telling you. Are you vegan? Yeah, I'm vegan. I, yeah, yeah. I make I mean, weight being vegan. Yeah, how? So, I think it works. You, for some you, want some good, you want some good supplements, then? Though. Yeah, yeah. I take uh, Ambrosia supplements. What? what? With my guy Michael Ambrosia. Sheep. Yeah, Ambrosia. Yeah, yeah. So I take that. That's, um, that's the nectar of the gods, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So I'm, I'm yeah. taking that. You got to be on some good nectar. No, no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I know more than what y'all think. See, they don't think I know stuff. Yeah, nah, yeah. Who said that? I, didn't, I, don't, no, I just I know think, you get mad at your son being vegan. I am mad at my son. He's so a I'm, champion and he's vegan. This is the first one I ever met. So leave your son so, alone no, now. No, no. <laughs> I'm, need... I'm asking him questions now. Mm-hmm. So what's up? Because my son, he don't, he don't do not Well, I'm, I'm always drinking the stuff I need to drink where I'm drinking um, beet juice right before my workouts. You got to you gotta have the right supplements in order to to be a vegan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't just take it out and not put it back in. You need the right amino acids. Is what you, you need the need. right you, things. Amino acids are the building blocks of life which help repair okay. all these broken How do you get those cells. amino acids? From the beets? Nah, I eat a I'm lot asking? of chickpeas. I like. He, eat, I see him. I eat a shit. lot of chickpeas, bro. Chickpeas and lentils and different things. Yeah. You can you can supplement in some ways, but I mean, for the most part, everyone's body chemistry is different too. And but the amino acids will will strengthen your body. My son, he, I don't think he eating. I don't think he eating the right stuff. You know, I see the stuff that that he be eating the stuff, but um, he be eating a lot of ass. I think that's probably fuck. <laughs> fuck see, with I don't know. That's that means he ain't focused. Yeah, he ain't focused. He ain't focused. Cause, cause I think that I There's think a lot that, of amino acids in that ass. Evidently, he ain't getting enough. He stay injured. <laughs> Where, where do you think he learned that from? I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You sound like Channing Briggs now. <laughs> what? Hey, 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 hey. He ain't getting hey, that. Hold on. He ain't getting that from me. Let's go, Cam. <laughs> God damn. Hey, uh, do you mind if I like get a list from you? Uh, I'm well, following you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. Can I, can I um can I have my son follow? Cause cause my son, I really want him to fight, mm-hmm. but I just don't believe. I just didn't believe in it. Right? I ain't right, never right. met. I told him. I said, you find me one champion. That's currently a champion and vegan. Then I get off your back. He he never did it. So now I met I met you first before he did. Yeah, yeah. So I, if you don't if you don't mind, I'm serious about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's a to... place I'm always getting. It's called La Botanice or Lee Botanice in uh, New York, and I always go there for all my fight camps and load up on everything. And everything is it tastes like like real actual food. You know what I mean? Not that vegans not food, but it tastes like it tastes real. You but, know what I mean? But I was I was always taught that you need like the um like the red meat, the animal protein, because you are what you eat. Mm, nah, I it's think not honestly, true. I don't know. I, but that's why yeah. my son's an asshole, though. <laughs> he is, though, real talk. <laughs> Listen, as we look at the landscape of boxing right now, and we yeah. look at the things in terms of athletes crossing over, YouTubers crossing over, and trying to do these content fights, you were, you know, on record saying that you were playing football and you chose uh, boxing over football. What position were you playing in football? Why'd running you back. Cho- oh, you were running back. Yeah, I was running back. So why'd you choose boxing over football? Because I didn't love football anymore. Mm-hmm. And as and anything you do in life, if you don't love it, you're gonna get hurt at it. You know what I mean? And I was real. I was successful at it. I was doing good. And as soon as I I knew I, I didn't love it no more, I was like, nah. And I always would go back to the boxing gym every mm-hmm. every time I would have off season. I'll go right back to the boxing gym, and I had to lose weight for it. I'm like, damn, this shit's hard. I couldn't even throw a punch. I'm like. Coach was like, yo, keep coming, keep You're coming. Vegan. Nah, I wasn't. I was. I was eating. <laughs> when did you start being? Yeah. Mm, 
well, I think it was like four or five ago. Oh, four so you new yeah. to it? Oh, okay, yeah. now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. But it's, it's, it's been like two years, though. A little bit. It's been like two Flow. years, though. Two years. But, but let, let me ask you an honest question, because Luke knows a lot about inflammation in the body. Rampage, obviously, is getting in great shape, getting ready for his fight. And one thing Luke always talks about is your body battling inflammation. You need the proper fuel. You need the proper sleep. How does your body battle inflammation and body recovery if you don't have the proper fuel? I sleep so much. Yeah. Well, I was going to say the inflammation does come from, like, certain foods, too. But with veganism, it's not like you're not creating a lot of inflammation. You're just lacking the amino acids mm -hmm. to building yourself. So you're actually Makes like sense. you're depleting your inflammation, especially when you do an ice pass and all these things. And inflammation is not the problem. It's it's the it's the good protein yeah. and the good amino acids that are going to be able to build you back up. Right, right. right. That's 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 the place we have to supplement. Inflammation is not the key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when whenever I after yeah, my point. fights, I'm always taking the right things. I'm not going to go get a big burrito. I'm not we eating the right things. We, then we can eat crazy after, but even after we're still kind of, you know, eating salads and making sure we're good. You know what I mean? Crazy. What's crazy? Mm, What's like crazy? What's crazy diet for a vegan? Like pizza. Like vegan like pizza. Vegan pizza. pizza. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, like with some like vegan cauli cauliflower. Vegan yeah. What are you going to eat before you fight? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know because this will be my first time fighting in Qatar. Uh, I haven't been eating carbs and sugars. I cut out carbs and sugars. Mm -hmm. And before my fights, I used to carb up. And my last fight, I, I did that, and I wasn't eating carbs, and I, I reacted bad. I, you know, swole up. So yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what I what I'm gonna eat this time. It'll be my first time fighting since I had this new lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably just eat a lot of um, eggs and steak and 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 greens, a lot of green vegetables for my fight. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Do you do you, uh, do you incorporate sugars, like any kind of sugar, raw sugars, or anything like that? Mm -mm. Veganism. I mean, just saying, like how. You, if supplement how do, I, with, how do you cinnamon, supplement with anything cinnamon like sticks. Cinna cinnamon sticks? Yeah, man. Cinnamon sticks. What's, what's, what's a day? What's a day like for you? Honestly, like a of sweets or a typical day in the week? No, just foods. Like in the morning you eat you eat or right. not eat. You There's fast? um I have uh this, this company called Trifecta mm. that yeah. I always send me vegan vegan meals every week. Like what's what's in the foods in the um, breakfast? Bre how many four meals a day? Five well, so meals a day? I, I try not to eat breakfast, bro. Yeah. To be honest, is I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat until like three, three or four. Mm. I and I just drink. Bad. I drink a ton of water, water, and I, I sleep good. so coffee. much. Coffee, yeah, well, coffee. When I need it, like right now, I just got off a plane at three a.m. Did a photo shoot, and then I'm here now. So I need a little coffee. To overtime got you working overtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm over. Like, yo, this is this is why I'm with overtime because like I yeah, fit the profile. I fit their profile. So what's your, your what's your first meal at three o'clock? What what is it that you eat? Um, beet juice. Yeah, if I can, but I try to drink that before. If I'm if I'm working out like hard, I know it be beet juice. Do you mix it with something or just straight up? Just straight beet up beet juice. juice. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, cilantro and uh, and parsley. I I'm love cilantro. I yeah, is it you eating it or you juicing it? I eat it it's right up. And my girl looks at me like, "Yo, you crazy?" I'm you like, just get nah. a handful of cilantro, handful, and handful, and just. I eat bet it. your breast smell Mexican. It's okay. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. So yeah, so, yeah. One thing, me and Rampage were looking at your page, and there's this beautiful video of your insane footwork you're looking like Mike Tyson and your training. Did someone teach you that, or did you just make that for content? Is that really how your fighting style is? I did it for conditioning. Mm. So always keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Always move. You know what I mean, don't hit and just stay there and just freeze. What's the key to that footwork? Just being athletic. That's it? You got to be athletic. <laughs> it seems very unique. Like, it, it, people look at it, and they probably think it's easy to move like Tyson. To the no, man, it's hard. Because I, I want to do it because I'm fighting like a taller guy. Mm -hmm. And I seen how Mike Tyson, he's getting close on people because he was mm -hmm. always a shorter guy in there. Mm -hmm. You got you to gotta respect that. It's, oh, yeah. It's, sure. it's hard to do that, huh? It's hard. It, it takes a lot of energy. But if you train it, you, know, you can do it. You know what I mean? Like, anything in life, if you train it, you can do it. Yeah. I love that. So. Yeah. I just there, I haven't even unleashed that part in back and in my fights yet. So that's just I fight the way I need to fight in order to beat somebody. I, I mean, it. I take it away, take whatever they need to, they have, take it away, and then if I need to go in the bag, I go in the bag and go get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know Mike Tyson was heavyweight, but you know, is there any boxes that you kind of looked up to when you first started getting into it? You know, um, like everyone else did, like Floyd. I was always watching. Come on now, like it was a Floyd generation where he was all over twenty four seven. Which is a great thing, and that's why we're with overtime because of the way they they push their boxers. Mm. Not any other platform is pushing their boxers and letting people know the insides and outsides of their lives. You know what I mean? So this is a, is a overtime platform where you get to see my life every day. You know what I mean? Literally overtime. You know. You got a lot of good sparring partners, training partners out there. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yep. 
I, yeah, I think we should send Bear there so you can just beat him up. What's up? Be one of your sparring partners because he's trying to get in the box. Did you notice that? You yeah, see that big he, box he was out there? there? But he was out there moving. I was like, hey, you sure? Yeah. Hey, he, you sure? Hey, make sure you got to sign a contract because I don't want to get hurt you and yeah. get in trouble. Yeah, he thinks he's a, he think he a boxer now. Look at that. Chin down, dude. Chin down. Chin down. Chin down, man. I got Come something on. for you. Yeah, we should send Bear to go, go train with you for a week and let's let, us feel, let us film him getting, getting you know, better. Let's go. Let's man, go. You, you, you want me to call Shannon Briggs? Go ahead, call him. I ain't scared of Shannon. You think I'm scared of Scooby? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So chill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Hey, so before we wrap this thing up, obviously I've been training just for fun because I enjoy it. It's good cardio. But the one thing that boxing has done for me these last couple of months is helped me lose weight, helped me get my mind right. I'm always running around like crazy. And it's the two minutes where I can't be on my phone. My hands are gloves. Mm-hmm. And they're in gloves. And I can't be texting, can't be on it, can't do nothing. So I really get like a nice little right. relaxing time. There's nothing relaxing about sparring with these two mutants. Cap, I seen, I saw him have his assistant right next to him with his, with his phone while he's, you know, sparring. Yeah, why and, you gotta and, say that? Why and, you gotta and, say and that? He te- and she's reading the text to him. He texting right back while he's boxing. I've just seen. Leave it. that off the pod. We good. We good. Just All leave right. that. Yeah. All right. Don't. But don't. Don't cap to the young king, man. <laughs> I capping him. You want to go spar against him? Let's work. I'm, I'm twice his size. He's too fast for me. Let's I'm work. twice his size. Let's work. Put in Luke. We'll yeah, put in Luke. Luke. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah, give yeah. you Luke. Yeah, we'll hey, give you Luke. I, Luke used to train with my trainer, Pedro. Ooh. Yep, I always do see videos. Churchill? Yeah, Everywhere, Churchill, man. Every, everybody comes. How? How's this possible? Yeah, hey, I just mix it up. You gotta. So get, I, you gotta I see. Take him, I see. Take him what you can. Yeah, I There's see. There's not a single guest that has ever been on this show since we brought on Luke as one of our new co-hosts because Rampage will be in Vietnam for a week. There's not a single <laughs> guest that we've ever got on this show that has not been training or knows Luke from training. It's it's kind of unreal to me. Uh, mm. I've heard that Luke is a real gym whore. Mm. Shoot, we both are. I, I'm right with you. You stay in the gym all day. Bro, I have a gym in my house. But I'm gonna I have tell a you, boxing in my house. I'm gonna tell you why. Gotta stay wet, Rampage. I'm gonna tell you why it's bad to be a gym whore. Because people run their mouth like, "Oh, I train with him. This he does this. I've seen. I've seen it. Very I've true. seen it. Very true. People run their mouth. That's why I ain't. Never, I never what? was no. I never was a gym whore, and I never would be a gym whore because <laughs> people keep running their damn mouth. And they're gonna come bite you in the ass one day. I bet it's already has. Run their mouth. Well, what? What are they gonna learn? What well, they gonna? The people know how you move. They gonna say, "Oh, he does this. He does this. He." Does That's this. why you limit the try. You limit it. You know what I mean, I don't let everybody know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? You always got to be uh, unexpected. You can't. You can't let nobody. I know, know but any in intel is intel. I don't like people have intel. I might do something that clearly you might think I'm doing. But I'm doing it just to make you think I'm doing that. You know what I mean? Very methodical. I like yeah, it. I'm I'm always I like Scoop. I like, I like how, you, how do you get that name, Scoop, before I forget It's my that. last name. Shut up. That's your last, last name. name. Yep, it's my last why name. you choose that last name? What do you mean why I choose my last name? It's my last name. <laughs> you don't choose the last name. You're born with it. Oh, okay. It's like he, I was born he, with these hands. He drunk. He drunk. You on the cognac? <laughs> you on the cognac? <laughs> that that, that ain't water. That's some vodka. In that one. That's that's vodka hey, right, right there. Right. It's, it's okay. The karaoke bar last it's night. all right. <laughs> no, listen. For war. Well, listen. Don't you know a lot of celebrities they they have fake names? You didn't know that? I thought you. I thought you. No, put... no, no, no. This ain't fake. So what's your yeah. fake name? <laughs> uh, Rampage Jackson is my fake name. My my my, my last name ain't really Jackson. What the fuck wrong with y'all? So what's your real name? I can't tell you. I don't want people knowing my real my the real government, identity. The government, huh? The government name. Huh? <laughs> you have to be a crazy man to go by your, a different first is name. Your, is your, Quentin. Is your real name Luke Wood? <laughs> <laughs> no cap. <laughs> you call me Quentin. Hey, no cap at all. Yeah. yeah Listen, man. as we wrap this thing up, it's amazing to have you here at the Jackson House. It's amazing to see what you're doing with Overtime. One thing I've been super excited about is what Overtime's doing for boxers and the community. They've been doing a lot of uh, partnerships and content with us here at the Jackson House. And Jackson has a brand. We're the number one men's jewelry brand. Obviously, you could see some of the best jewelry in the game. Yes, sir. You know, sweatproof, sir. great class. We wear it when we train, we wear it when we go out. But Rampage has been super, super involved. Involved with boxing right now and to see overtime boxing come behind guys like you that are so talented and mm-hmm. help you guys kind of propel that growth i think is going to be amazing that's why we also have guys like luke rockhold in the gym now to help and kind of facilitate when people come through this jackson now so we could bring it all together for the for the culture right. i want to know before we wrap up who who's someone that you want to fight this year who's a name that that is like on your board who's on your you're radar ready to go this would be a, a, a cliche thing to say but everybody like mm. I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not just doing boxing just to, just to fight. Every, no, I, I'm here. I, this is me. They who they wouldn't need to come see me. I don't care if I, I don't have a belt or I have a belt. They need to come see me. Cause I'm training all year round, and I want everything that comes with it. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm in the gym. That's why I live in the gym. That's who I am. You know what I mean? And, and I'm looking at y'all in the eyes, everyone, each one of you guys, because 
I truly believe that. I see that. My my job is to make you guys believe that, not just by me speaking it, it's by me working. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm about. This guy you know? killer. I know. When, so when's your next fight? I want. I want April nineteenth. Sure. April nineteenth. Hey, where, where's, uh, where's Atlanta? That? Okay, we going. We, we going. Yeah. Yeah. Magic April nineteenth. After that, April nineteenth. Yeah, you we're going. No opponent, right? Bro, that's one of the hardest things to find right now. So what what is the pool like of fighters? Obviously, you're working with the WBC, right? And then over time, so where is the pool? They they be pulling from outside. Outside, the, in, are they in? I'm in, I'm in the field. Are they sharing fighters? Are we, are we I'm crossing? in the field where they send me a name. I say yes, 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 yes. And it's always, nah, not right now. Nah, not right now. I'm like, okay, well, I, whenever, whoever wants to fight me, I'm ready. Your fight is April 19th yep, in, yep. in Atlanta? Yep. I want to tune in. I want to watch. Tune in? Yeah. Don't don't just tune in. You got to come. Yeah, I'll, come I'll be in. Fight. I'll go. I'll, I'll be in training camp. If my boxing coach let me go, I'm down. Me and Luke. I'm man, down. what's up? It's, a, it's on a Saturday. I, 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 need, a Saturday you know I, I need, can leave a Friday. You know what I need? I need a FaceTime from you. Wow. I'm not fight. The night of my fight. Hey, Both of you. We might need that. Hey, you, can you talk yeah. Coach Bobby to let me go? We could go for one night, come right back, take the PJ. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I'm on the live phone right now, so I, I'll grab my iPhone once I get a what's chance. What's that? What is that? What is that? What is that? It doesn't have no social media. Hold on, let me see this thing. Oh, wow. What is that? Is it by Apple? Nah, it's by PG Lang. It's for kids? Nah, it's for Scoob. Uh. <laughs> There's no Instagram on that? There's no social oh, media, internet. No. There's nothing. And you can call it? Hell no. Call and text. Yeah. I have a heart attack. Uh, <laughs> call and text. You got this so the fans can tap in? Nah, I got it to stay focused, man. This is what you yeah. need for a fight camp. No more girls, no social media. That's you, boring. Yeah. What do you mean nah, boring? the best thing, man. I'm telling you. What is this thing? Oh, That's my God, it's insane. real. I thought it was fake. Who nah, said, who's, who slangs this thing? Uh, PG Lang. How you talking? You got a headphone? No, you just call it. It's just like a regular phone. It's it's a good So who's handling the social media? Uh, Vanessa, that's that's the girl. That's that's the woman behind everything. You're with overtime. Nah, she's she's with school, team school. That's team what she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she she handles everything, and I'm like, like I'm even, I'm happy to even be here because I had no idea what my schedule was, and she sent me a text like, you need to be here, here, here. Bet say less. Hey, hey, that's he, really what you carry around all day. This is this is it. No Instagram, no, no social no, media. You're so locked in, bro. This has been wow. like this. Hey, this really? kid is this kid is fighting April nineteenth. Yes. Yep. Yep. Laser in focus. I think that's my mom's birthday too. April nineteenth. You think? Well, my sister's birthday. My mom and my sister's birthday close. <laughs> so, I get, so I get to mix up. My sister's birthday yeah, yeah. is April thirteenth, and my mom's nineteenth, or vice versa. Okay. So okay. I just know it's one of their birthdays. That's but good. He, he's he's laser. Fo- Look at him. Look hey, at his I, eyes. I'm really excited I got to meet you in person and get all this done because I know we've been seeing you on social. I've been posting right, right. and I'm really hyped to have you in the studio with overtime as well. But one thing is, is like a lot of people make content, the Mike Tyson content, the cardio content, the knockout content, but then to feel it and see the energy in person, yeah, as next, real as it comes. I, since, since you're like really strong minded, I like that. And um, you're a champ. This will be my first boxing match. And I'm boxing, even though he's a little bit older, but he's a big guy and, he's, and he got knockout power. He swears he's going to knock me out in the first round. Any, any advice for me? Manifest it. See him on the ground. Don't see yourself on the ground. Really tap into it. Don't just uh, meditate for five minutes. No, meditate to a point where you see yourself walking to the ring. You see yourself getting in there. You see yourself raising your hand with the referee. You see a team jumping on you. But really visualize him on the floor and him crying or something you know what i mean I, every time i see i live in pennsylvania so whenever i'm driving there's dead deer i'm like oh that's my opponent or i see something dead or, or fucked up excuse my language or if i see a car that's really bashed in i'm like oh that's my opponent or if i'm at the gym and someone's crying or that's my opponent man i love that you gotta dial in on it you know i, what I, I mean? love that because he he be trolling me on, on his social media account that means so, he's scared yeah that's what i feel i, I want you know i want to visualize i want to visualize him getting knocked out and he fall on the, on the canvas and his belly still jiggling. You want to or you will? I will. Okay, there I'm you gonna go. see his belly jiggling on the mat like. Blah, 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 yep, there it is. From the, from him getting knocked down, there so okay, he's like a big guy. I want I want to see him just jiggling on the, just knocked out. This belly just like. Blah, 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 blah. As long as you see it, you ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> yeah, like, I keep it. telling like everybody, man. Like I had, <laughs> I literally manifested being here. You know what I mean? I manifested. I I, I messaged. Um, the Jackson Page a yeah. couple times. I'm like, yo, I want to be here, be here. I saw, you I know saw. what I mean. And I'm like, I told Vanessa, I'm like, yo, I want to be on a, on the Jackson podcast. And next, you know, I get a call from Britain from Overtime. Hey, bro, you want to be on on uh, Jackson podcast? I was like, and I looked at Vanessa. And Vanessa, like, I can't believe it. You just literally spoke it. I'm like, Man, that's the real. power of manifestations. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're right. You you're right because I used to be really strong with that, and then I got away used from. To? It. I used to. I'm, I'm keep. I'm, I keep come it right, up. come back to it. Yeah. Come right back to I, it. Yeah. I need to get back because I, I used to preach the same thing. Mm-hmm. I used to preach it, but 
somebody, I was, you know what? I got real cocky with it years ago. And um, and you know when you believe it and then you lose? And he's like, why, why did I lose? Because you know you manifesting that too. But then I had to deep, dig deep. And then when I was bragging about it, I was getting it back. I was telling my friends because you want to tell everybody. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, you believe in the secret and the law of attraction and all this stuff? Watch this, the secret behind the secret. And I watched that. I wish I never I don't did. know. I, I had people around me that like, that's going to tell me if my shit stink. You know what I mean? Like, I had a friend, quick story real quick. I had a friend named Steven. He's my photographer. And he was like, hey, bro, I, I can't um I can't have conversations with you. I'm like, what do you mean? He was like, your intellect isn't isn't up there. Like, you need to you need to read more books or something. The old me would have been like, what? Like, I need, we need faith. But like, nah, 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 nah. I, I took it and I understood it. Like, okay, well, he's telling me to read, read more books. And now I can have longer conversations and understand how to build and how to, like, tell stories. Now I understand. I'm like, hey, Steven, thank you for telling me that. Because now I took that and ran with it. And now I use it to understand myself. You know what, I mean? what kind so, of books did you read to in, in, interest you? Because I've been telling myself um, I need to start reading. Books. Oh my, yeah, there's this book called Outwitting the Devil. Oh my God, uh, Outwitting Devil, Outwitting the Devil. Oh, okay, outwitting and it's you're having a conversation with the devil, and he's telling you all these things that are like how he's distracting you and how he's grabbing you, and mm-hmm. and I, I'm I was in L.A. and I'm, I was in my hardest time living. I'm like, damn, like, like why am I? Why, like, what's going on? But instead of asking why, you got to embrace that. So I was embracing all the adversity. So when everything was coming, I'm like, oh, it's coming to teach me something. It's not coming to like make me like, no, nah, it's, it's teaching me something. It's going to make me strong. Like, you know, when Mario grabs a mushroom and it gets bigger, that's how all my problems, when anything comes to me, I'm like, oh yeah, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. I need this problem. How could I get, how could I build from this? Not why anymore. You know what I mean? Man, that's yeah. that's deep though. But I'm a little simple. I might have to start off by reading comic books first. <laughs> then move hey, start, you gotta start and then yeah. you gotta, gotta go. Start you know somewhere. I, mean? I gotta start yeah, somewhere. Yeah, for sure. he's, got, he's got karaoke on one shoulder and he's got bear on the other. He's got <laughs> what are you ta- what are you talking about? You was karaoke king last week on oh, the hey, UFC. Sir. Yes, so sir. you can't drag even, me you can't My guy. Hey, yes, sir. I, 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 Yo, that's my guy. Yeah. Britain. That's the guy that really believed in me. It, it was a quick, I, I I have stories for days, but this is a quick story. I was in California and he seen me at my worst too. And I don't think he noticed it, but I was like, I was always not trying to show it, like how I was hurting, but he seen me and he was like, man, like, we gonna work one day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we got it. We will, we will. And then later on in life, he just comes around and he's like, hey, I'm back. What's up? But he's with overtime. He was like, I told you. So just to see and hear someone say like, he really stuck with me. And I was like, man, like that's, that's believing in yourself, but other people believing in you too. Cause people ain't going to just be with you or gravity to you. If you're not doing right. That's what's up, man. That guy, yeah. it changed my life. Bring him, bring him on. I thought, yeah. I thought it was a dude from, I thought it was a dude from power. Like the guess <laughs> yeah, I thought he was acting from power. What's that dude's name? The- James A. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like it. I was like, he walked in though yeah. with that, with I had that a double check. Check. That's yeah. my guy, man. Oh. He changed my life. He changed my life. So I appreciate that. It seems that. like you have an amazing team around you and that's obviously playing in the success. You have yeah, great yeah. media. You have a great team. You have a great PR, great media. What what around this team have you kept from the beginning? Are you still with the same trainers? Are yes. you still at the same gym? And I will always be with them. Got it. I will always be with them. Because I, I, I believe that you keep watering the grass, it's going to grow. You know what I mean? You hear that, Luke? He's it's going to grow. He's with the same trainers. <laughs> uh-huh. He's not Jim Horan. People change their game. My coach left, went to went to Russia with Habib. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know shit. what you doing. Shit, I had to go. I had to go. Oh, shit, dog. I'm going to go Florida. <laughs> was that, that Javi? <laughs> yeah, Javi. How long did Javi leave you for? Javi Cormier went to went to the panels. You know, Kane retired. Hey, when shit goes away, you got to take it. You got to take it. You got to take it in your own hands. Well, Javi's coming on the pod soon. We'll hear that story. Well, soon. We, I'm glad you yeah. got. I'm glad to even meet you and and you you taught me something to get back in my mind, get my mind back strong. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. And, and real talk, I've been having I've been having outs with my son. You know, my son, I, I put him out the house and um because I got a training house for us so we can just train in the same house because both our gyms is in the middle. You know, I was living down in Irvine too far. Mm-hmm. And so we were staying together. He I got a bunch of kids, but I'm closer to him. He's my only black son. So we real close. And he's just like me. He's my clone. Right, right. He but looks then, a lot like him. Yeah, that's, <laughs> my, that's, that's my only black kid. Right, so right. Yeah, yeah. And so 
we we just we just started bumping heads when he, when he becoming vegan. I wouldn't care if he was vegan. He wasn't always getting injured and stuff. He tried to cut a whole bunch of weight in his last fight. He wanted to go pro. I wanted to do ten amateur fights. He went undefeated in amateur four and zero. He said, "I want to go pro. I want to go pro." I'm like, son, you're not ready. Long story short, he begged me to go pro. I let him go pro. He almost knocked the guy out in the first thirty seconds, but didn't have no energy. But yeah. he had heart, so he ended up losing by decision. But he couldn't do nothing, right? Yeah. I was like, man, it's that vegan diet because he had to lose so much weight because he don't listen to me. Mm -hmm. I told him get his weight down twelve weeks before the fight. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. And he said, no, it's still twelve weeks. I said, son, but you're too heavy. You gotta get your weight down. You vegan. Mm -hmm. Start getting your weight down now. Didn't listen to me. He had to lose thirty pounds 20, 20 days out. No, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that. That'll take your energy straight yeah, off the bat, already. too. I mean, it's not about the, the veganism. That's, that's the amount of weight you put take off and try to put back on. It's going to put them in yeah. stress. Yeah, yeah but the, the vegan block. made it worse, though. Did it not? Cause you, nah, the, the vegan didn't, didn't make it worse. You it, would say that because you were vegan. A, I'm, no, no, no. I'm going to be real, and I, I hope you don't take this offensive, but no, 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 no. It's, uh, it's, it's him. That's on him. You know what I mean? Because we don't go to camp to, we don't go to camp to get in shape. You know what I mean? We're, we're I'm in shape all year round. I'm already in my weight class already. You know what I mean? So it's a great mindset. I can I can be a vegan all I want as long as I'm taking care of my body. I'm not overeating. You know what I mean? What was the original? What was that point? That that shifting point that you went to vegan? What what made you believe in it? And what what draw you into this this new lifestyle? I um I actually I came to L.A. to fight in a Pomona uh, on a Pomona card, and um I was I think I weighed in at one forty six. And I was like, I was fighting at 147. And I was like, oh shoot, I can I can get down there. But then I had to look back. I'm like, what what was I eating? I was eating chickpeas. I was eating small portions of actually vegan meals. But I don't know what made me go there. I was like, let me just try it. You know what I mean? Yeah, let me just try no it. study, no, no, no. Just no went right on here. Just, just by I'm not understanding the yeah. negatives and the positives of what's in your diet. Yeah, exactly. Like if you listen to your right body, things. you can understand what is a negative, what is a positive. Right, right. And everyone's body chemistry does work differently. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. And I realized that, and I was like, okay, well, all the money is in, in the 140 division, so let me dial into that. Let me go get that. Because I knew everybody from 135 was coming up. Yeah. So I was like, well, let me go get it. So just naturally listening to what your body Yeah, yeah, to. exactly. And he's doing it right. He's taking the right supplements. So but I don't see my son doing a lot of stuff. Granted, I don't be watching everything he eats, but I see stuff that be in the uh, pantry for him and everything. Mm -hmm. But I ask him what supplements he's taking, and it's all like, um, um, this, um, you know. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, need to, I need to talk to you, get like a, a listen. Because me and my son, now we, you know, we getting back together and being cool. And you stuff know what now. he needs? Got to be honest with you too. Yeah, I like him. He needs some love. He needs to give him a hug. Yeah, he I, said I, that. I, I, at the end of the day, bro, I'm realizing how much love really means because I have a son and a daughter. Yeah. So I'm hugging and I'm just seeing what love does to a person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and I have a strong team around me that loves Amen. me. You know yeah. what I mean? So Amen. He, listen, he's 100 percent right because that's what my son said the other day. He said, "Man, just give me a hug." And I, I gave him a hug. I give him hugs. But did my, you? Did you really? I yeah, watched I did. Him. I watched him. They had a great interaction. He came. In the gym. He came. Yeah. In, yeah, I did. I did. We give all him spent hug. time with him. But, but real talk, you know, I got my son. I got him when he was six six years old because mm -hmm. you, you know you can't get clones when they're a baby. <laughs> and and I'm, I already had other kids and stuff like that. So I, I didn't. I don't think I. I don't think I was as close to him as a kid. You know, as I should have been. You know, I just you know, a single parent. You don't know. You don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But throughout the years, I always took care of him. I showed him love and stuff. But he needed a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And you know, his mom passed away. You know, Same couple, thing, like yeah. two years ago. Yeah. So he he's a little bit different now. And I gotta like I gotta learn how to fill that void and stuff. And I just don't know what I'm doing. Maybe yeah, I need you to do know what you're that. doing because it's it's just love. I'm telling you, only the only thing people need is just hugs. That's that's the real affection, you know what I mean? And, and a lot of you're a grown ass man. What I look like so, looking at a twenty three year old dude? Hey, I, I don't care if you a hundred. I need a hug. I'm I, give me a hug. You know what I mean? I be hugging trees. You know what? Here, you know what yeah, I mean? he, I be hugging, but he play around me. He be trying to kiss me on the jaw. And so I'm like, come on, son. Nah, come that's, on. I don't know about that. But Thank <laughs> you. That's what that's what I stopped wanting to hug on. Yeah. He missed six years of his life, man. God, just, bro. Come on, dude. He's trying to catch up a little bit. As <laughs> you come back together a little bit. You're one team. You, the guy wants to be like you. You call him the clone. So he's already living in your shadow. He just wants to be around you. Like yeah, always, yeah, yeah. I'm always pushing I, him to be great. Sometimes I hug on him, but just... I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't smooching him and stuff. Yeah, but sometimes draw, he don't need line. a coach or a trainer. Sometimes he needs a dad. I don't train him. I don't coach him. Call him the clone. I Wait, do, but I don't coach did, him, though. I'm not his coach. He got a great coach. shadow to live in. Did you know, he you know, take that or did you, know, you take that? Who, who gave him the clone? You gave he, it to him or he gave it to himself? He, he is a clone, though. <laughs> Did he, did he, did he adopt that or what? Yeah, he liked but I, I don't know if he's like lying or no, 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 no. His, his I'm lying. I'm, the clone. I'm lying. You can't clone people. 
Listen, <laughs> listen. As, as we get ready to wrap this up, I do like the the clone thing though, because what country did you go to do all Germany? That? Okay, yeah. so as we get ready to do all this wrapped up. And as we get ready to go in the Jackson house over here, we got the brand new gym in here and the brand new ring. So you could show Rampage a few things as he gets ready for Shannon Briggs. One thing I want to end on is, is there one fighter? Is there one person right now that you've looked up to the whole time in terms of technique, mm -hmm. not just in terms of like their skill or in terms of their career, but just like the technique that you specifically wanted to be like and how you model your career with your trainers. Yeah. Cause yeah. I know a lot of people study tape, they study film based off who they're fighting, but mm -hmm. everybody's got that shining light that they aspire to be like. So as we wrap this up and we want to also say thank you for coming on. I know you were messaging the accounts and I saw that. I just, I always like to wait till it's authentic, till it's 100%. real, till it makes sense. I don't like to just, or else like what ends up happening is people- Let him answer the damn question. No, I just want to tell that him That was me manifesting I, I, Yeah, it, I just want to give him his flowers on this though, because I forgot to tell him this when he brought that up. He called me ugly. He called me ugly. He don't need no flowers. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I just felt I don't, bad I don't know. because I don't want him to think that I was ignoring him because nah, we do nah, have a crazy podcast and I just want to let you know I saw that. I don't, I don't like- I know you just said don't give me my flowers. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't believe in that term. God, I don't believe in that term yet. I, I feel like yeah, yeah, just yeah. Him yeah. I, he I called me ugly. He <laughs> called me ugly. You gonna you gonna, you gonna, you gonna be this nice? So you gotta call me ugly. <laughs> no, I thought we were nice boys. I thought we was all brothers. Listen, the guy's been supporting the Jackson podcast. He wanted to He's come a real on. One. He's, He's a real a, one. an amazing, successful career, and I don't want him to think I was ignoring him. I just don't like the fact where if people ask to come on, it becomes very like, okay, then they might have a narrative or something to push. It might not be as organic nah, as this. For me, so I was, wanted to wait till overtime I got you. brought it to the table, right, and I right. said, all right, cool. And this when makes we wrap, sense. I'll tell you exactly what he really said. But oh, okay. My thing was, I was, I always shoot things out there, not for the people to see it, but for me to manifest it. So I always no, I have a story you. to tell. You know what I mean? I have always have a story it. to tell. You yeah. know what I mean? Let's so, hear, let's so hear. back to the question about yeah. the light. Who who are you looking at? Um, Kurt Scooby. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all that it. matters. All right. On that's that it. note, hey, you see the guy's mindset. It's rock solid. He's got yes, a fight in April coming up. Overtime Boxing is doing something phenomenal for the sport, the community. Jackson could not be happier to team up with them. The Jackson Podcast will be doing a lot of pop-ups, a lot of activations with them. Make sure you guys go use promo code PODCAST15 to get 15% off site-wide at jackson.com on all of our best-selling chains. Sure. Scooby, we appreciate you coming. Not the voice of Scooby-Doo, not to be yeah, confused yeah, with any yeah, character. Yeah, you shouldn't have lied the to me. The one and only. I didn't even say that. <laughs> you did lie I'm Bearded Geo, Rampage Jackson, all cap, and Luke Rockhold. We out. Hey, when he, and when he wins April 19th, make sure... All the Rampage fans go in there and give them shit for calling me ugly. <laughs>